Welcome back. Well, for many, owning their own business is the ultimate dream job, but like lots of things, it's easier said than done, which is why those dreams never come to fruition. But maybe you might have heard of Bigby Coffee, a Michigan company started by one of the original, and he claims the world's best baristas. We've got co-founder and co-CEO Mike McFall. He's also an author and just released his second book called Grow, Take Your Business from Chaos to Calm to Help Those Dreamers Find Success. And he joins us this morning to share more of his story. Mike, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So, so talk a little bit about the beginnings um, of Big B, because it, was, it wasn't an easy road for you, like any business owner. Right. Well, I mean, we've been at it 27 years, so yeah. it's, it's been a long journey. Uh, we opened our first store in East Lansing, uh, and then we transitioned uh, a few years into a franchise business model. Uh, we've been franchising ever since, so we have local owners in all of our communities, which is fantastic. And it's one of the great things I love about my book is I get to go on these visits to, to markets sure. and hang out with our owners and, and baristas and everything. Yeah, so tell us about some of the things you've learned um, about leadership, because it's one thing to start your own business, but then when you have to be a people manager, <laughs> it's a totally different animal. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and what you've learned and what you hope to bring to other people. Well, I think, you know, so my first book is about business startup. The difficult part is when you go from startup, the bootstrapping entrepreneurial phase, into a leadership phase where you're trying to find stability in the business, so much of what made you successful as an entrepreneur gets in the way of becoming a strong leader. And so you have to relearn all kinds of things in, in terms of transitioning to becoming a good leader. Uh, you know, maniacal doesn't work. <laughs> you have to work with people, through people. Uh, you have to build, you know, we, we, it took us many years to figure it out, but you have to build a, a, an environment that's nurturing and supportive of people that work with you. And, and so that transition's tough, and, and a lot of entrepreneurs struggle to make it, and the point of my book is to help with that. Yeah, and, and you know, we were talking a little off camera, and it's not just entrepreneurs. I mean, this, this is a, a plague, really. I mean, workers are not happy because leaders are, are struggling to really find what works. Yeah, I, you know, the, the, the reason, uh, one of the reasons I wrote the book uh, is that I want to help leaders uh, become more effective, but also I think that we need to up our game in terms of the employee expecting more from leaders. And if we can get, if we can get employees expecting more and looking for more, uh, then leaders will be more motivated to transition and build environments that people want to work within. Yeah, absolutely. So, so talk a little bit about Bigby and the growth and, and what you hope to bring to Michigan and to the communities you serve. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> That's Bob, it's Bob ends, Fish. Right? <laughs> That's my business partner. There you go. Uh, but uh, no, so so we are we're working hard to um, build our brand in local communities. Uh, Grand Rapids is one of our greatest markets. It's one of our best markets we have. Uh, we've been here a long time. But you know, when when we're in communities, we get to service the customer. We get to uh, you know build businesses which help build community. So many of our owners are great at engaging the community uh, and, and, and supporting the community and so on. That's, it's a big part of our business model is, is the local ownership piece, uh, having local owners in, in local communities. Yeah, and you kind of reference being a boss, like when you're an effective leader, you really can step back and, oh. and, and you really, you delegate, you find the right people, you teach them what to do and then your, yeah. your job is, you know, in the back. Yeah, I mean, so the first part of the book is going from bootstrapping entrepreneur to effective leader, sure. but then the second transition is from effective leader to what I call irrelevant. <laughs> so you go from bootstrapping to stable to sustainable. Sustainable means you as the entrepreneur are no longer uh, necessary for the business to, to thrive. Yeah. And that, what business owner doesn't want, want that? that. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and, and, but it's so many different layers and so many different places to be. I mean, that's, is that where the challenge is, really, for people who, you know, because there's so many people now diving into this entrepreneurial, yeah. you know, realm. Well, I think, I think one of the struggles yeah. is that we as entrepreneurs want to be needed. And as you, as you build a team and as you become less and less relevant to the business, 
you're not as needed, and that can be hard, right? Because you want to be, you want you want people calling you for help. You want to help out, but in order to build a sustainable business, you have to, you have to, you do have to walk away from it. Okay. And that that's really the stage my partner and I are in right now is making that transition. Okay. So this book is really for anyone in a leadership position. I think so. Yes. Yeah. So so you don't have to be an entrepreneur, but if you are and you want more information, you start with the first one and then you kind of graduate to this book. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. That would be great. And that's how the sausage is made. Yeah. All right, Mike. Well, let's get people to grab this book. Tell us, uh, you, where can people find it? Well, it's on wherever you can buy books, Amazon. Okay. Uh, my website is michaeljmcfall.com. Okay. Uh, it's there. 